Hello everybody, Marauder here with another collection update. I have everything in front of me that I bought since the last collection update. So I'm going to go through these, and I have them separated by where I actually bought them from. So this will actually be kind of fun. Uh, we'll start with what I bought from GameStop. I don't really like shopping at GameStop, as most of you know, but you do tend to go in there looking for particular used games, and uh, which I did. And in the meantime, I actually found two games. These were bought on different dates because uh, they were super cheap. Uh, the first one I found is Raiden 4 for the Xbox 360. And I like Raiden. I mean, I was playing Raiden Trad on the Genesis, if you, any of you saw my review. So it just kind of got me in the mood to go out and see what other kind of Raiden games I could find. And this was, I think, $8, $9 at GameStop. Couldn't pass it up. So, yeah, it's pretty fun. Uh, one thing I don't like, though, is they charge you for the extra ships on Xbox Live as DLC, which I guess, but it is kind of annoying you can't unlock any. Uh, but otherwise, fun game, good two-player, uh, had a blast with it, so I can recommend that for anybody who's a shooter fan. It is really hard, too, by the way. Uh, another game I found, this was $4.50, is a copy of Knight's Journey of Dreams for the Wii. This is a game I've wanted to buy for a really long time, and I just kept putting it off, putting it off, putting it off. But when I saw it at GameStop for $4.50, you, you just can't. You can't pass that up. Uh, I have not gotten into this yet because of all the games in the stack here that I've been playing, but looking forward to this. So, that's exciting. Uh, the next, I bought this game at a local Meyer store. Meyer's, for those of you who don't know, is it's like a Walmart. Uh, but anyway, I bought the Kirby 20th Anniversary Collection, and I did this for one reason. I am a sucker for game soundtracks. I really am. I love them, and this one especially is amazing. It has, I think, like 45 tracks from various Kirby games, and it's it's worth every penny. It's worth the price of the game just to get the soundtrack. Uh, the game itself is, is great. It is just a collection of, uh, you know, some of the earlier Kirby games, uh, Kirby's 1, Kirby's Adventure, Kirby's Land, Dreamland 2, Superstar, Dreamland 3, and Crystal Shards. So, uh, all of which are great games, all of which are games that I love, so, uh, very happy to have this, especially for the CD. Uh, the next couple of games I picked up at, there's a, a used game store called The Gaming Warehouse. It's kind of like a GameStop, but they sell pretty much everything from DVDs and Blu-rays to NES and Atari 2600 games and on up. So, picked up four games. Uh, three of them are Genesis, so I'll just get them done with. Uh, this one is called Mick and Mac as the Global Gladiators. This is a cart only. This was a something like a $1.79 or like two bucks. Uh, this is a great, great game. Um, it's a McDonald's game, which I didn't know buying it. But you basically run around as this kid with a squirt gun that shoots slime, and the slime actually has a bit of an arc to it, and you basically go and shoot, like, green oozy creatures. Uh, really fun, um, you know, and especially for the price. The labels beat up quite badly, and it's really dirty, but I cleaned up the cartridge uh, connector and all that, so it seems to be alright. I'll clean the cartridge itself later, but... Moving on, I picked up, uh, also for the Genesis, a copy of Marsupilami for the Genesis. I bought this mainly because I, I got a Russian nostalgia, because I used to watch the show as a kid and I used to love this show. Uh, the game is basically a platformer uh, puzzle game where you run around as the Marsupilami character and he has this long tail, and so you end up creating stairs and balloons and all these other items with your tail in order to get this elephant uh, from one side of the level to the other and you have to do it within a certain time limit. It's pretty difficult but it is a lot of fun and a pretty good use of the license I think. I you know I assume they could have turned this into just a generic, generic uh, Sonic-esque or Mario-esque platformer but they really took it in a different direction and I, I kind of like that. And it was only $3.49. Strange thing about this though is the insert 
is actually made of cardboard. I don't know if it's supposed to be made of cardboard or if somebody just printed it on cardboard because it looks pretty good. But either way, a uh, pretty good game overall. Uh, another game I bought that is just awful. Uh, this is complete for three dollars and forty nine cents. Uh, is Bugs Bunny in Double Trouble? This is a game I'm going to have to do a review on because this is a really, really bad game, and it's really hard to describe exactly why. Uh, the the you basically play as Bugs Bunny, and rather than putting him in a, in a general platformer, you end up playing in these really strange kind of games where like one level is you have to turn all the signs from rabbit season to duck season and the way you do that is uh, Daffy Duck is there and you end up throwing a pie at him and then running away and having him run into the signs and swap the signs for you except he can hurt you which makes it really hard and if you go too far away from him he doesn't follow you so it's really aggravating, and uh, I didn't get much farther than that. So, yeah, uh, this is, this certainly was something. Uh, another game I picked up for my Super Nintendo. This is Act Razor Two. I paid I think eight or nine dollars for this, and from what I can tell online, that's not a bad price. Uh, that's generally what they go for on eBay. That's one thing I got to say about the gaming warehouse overall is they tend to have very odd pricing. Like, some of the things will be ridiculously cheap, and other things are really, really high. And I think they're pricing off eBay, which, if you're a gamer, you don't price off eBay. You just don't do it. I mean, you can, but people ask ridiculous prices for stuff on eBay, and then these stores look at it and go, well, somebody paid $30 for Super Mario Bros. 3. I mean, overall, this game should be, you know five dollar game but I'm not saying I don't like this game I have played it it is fun it's very difficult uh, it's very challenging but I like that good graphics good sound all that stuff just kind of weird that you know I thought I got a good deal and it turns out I could have grabbed it off eBay for around that price okay um, move on to what I found I found this just this morning at a local Goodwill and that is a copy of Sega Sports College Football National Championship. This was just like two dollars, and I can't pass up Genesis games when I find them. Uh, cart only. Cart's in good shape. Boots right up. Uh, the connectors are re relatively clean and all. It is missing the manual, and I have. I did actually sit and play this. Uh, something about the sports games on Genesis. I actually gen like them in general. I hate sports games overall. But I can play the ones on Genesis because they're actually pretty simple and fun and straightforward. Especially the NHL games from EA, which I find to be really, really fun. Uh, and this one, you know, it's okay. It does this weird thing where it, when you, when they go to hike the ball, it'll have this really pulled back view of the field. Whereas when you actually go to tackle the guy, it like zooms in and it takes a second and it's kind of disorienting because you don't know exactly where your character will be when it zooms in uh, but you know it's a pretty good football game I guess so and not too bad for the price uh, I have two other piles here one of these I got from Amazon so I'll go with that uh, a friend of mine was having a birthday my friend Phoenix 923's birthday was in September and so I went on Amazon I was gonna get him something and Obviously, you have to spend $25 in order to get the free shipping, and I kind of went a little overboard. But these were all games I wanted anyway, and they were really cheap. Uh, first one for the Wii is a copy of Sin and Punishment Star Successor. This is a great shooter, fantastic game for the Wii, unbelievable. Anybody who complains that there aren't hardcore games on the Wii has not played this. I picked this up for $12. I've seen some stores around me still selling it for $49.99. If you go to GameStop, there's, I think they're selling it for around $19.99, which is a much better price. $12. Uh, so I picked this up. This is also what I got uh, my friend Phoenix923 for his birthday. And he also really, really likes it. So, hilarious uh, game. Really fun. The really inventive bosses. And, uh, yeah, he 
If you guys have any interest in this game at all, pick it up. It is fantastic. Uh, moving on, also for the Wii. Uh, this is a game that Phoenix923 uh, kept recommending, which is Muramasa the Demon Blade. I don't remember how much I paid for this. So, like, it was just a little over $10. Uh, worth every penny. Beautiful game. Plays really well. And it, it's really, really great. Again, if people are complaining there are no hardcore games on the Wii, they're not looking hard enough. Uh, this is great. This is not a casual game. It may look it, but it is not. Very, very fun. Uh, another thing I gotta bring up is they're porting this to the PS Vita, I noticed, on Wikipedia. It's actually listed in, in upcoming game releases. So, if you don't have a Wii and you have a Vita, although I don't know why you would have the Vita without having the Wii first, but, you know, if you only have a Vita, this is one to look for, because it is a lot of fun. Okay, also on Amazon, I picked up a copy of Blue Dragon for the 360. This is an RPG that I've wanted to play since it came out, and I kept forgetting about it and kind of brushing it aside. It was $9. Brand new. You, you can't pass that up. I mean, the art looks amazing, the graphics look really colorful, and overall I hear it's a good game, so looking forward to getting into this. And the last game I got off Amazon is for my PS3, and it's a copy of Yakuza 3. I have been looking for this game at local stores for a long time, couldn't find it, couldn't find it, so finally I just said, screw it, and I went on Amazon and threw it on the order, and, and here it is. Uh, I will be getting you a 4 and hopefully Dead Souls uh, after that, but it's going to take some time. Uh, I have not actually played this yet, I really want to, but I want to have time to sit down and actually dig into it. Rather than play it for 10 minutes, I want to put like a good couple of hours into it to begin with. Uh, the Yakuza series on PS2 is one of my favorite game series of all time, so I'm very, very happy to have the third game on PS3. It's one of the reasons I bought a PS3, so looking forward to digging into this. Okay, this last pile is two other games, uh, both of which I found at Sears. Now, Sears isn't generally the kind of store you would think of when you think to buy video games, and trust me, I was surprised too. I just happened to walk out of a movie with a friend of mine, and we were looking for something to do. So I just kind of threw it out, I said, let's go to Sears. And so we walked down to Sears, and in their video game department, there's a bin. And I love when company, when stores do this thing where they put a bin out, because that usually means sale. So I go over and I start digging through, and it's mostly garbage games, you know, PS2 games that don't sell, or PS3 games that nobody wants, it's a lot of Guitar Hero. Uh, but I happen to dig out two really, really good deals. Uh, the first one is for my 3DS, is a copy of Rayman 3D. I paid a total of $4.97. So under $5 for Rayman 3D, which is a remake of Rayman 2 The Great Escape, which is a great game. Uh, I couldn't pass it up. You know, th not a fantastic game, but for the price, you really can't go wrong. Uh, I did play this. It is a lot of fun. Uh, graphically, it's, it's hit or miss, but hey, to have it portable, it's great. And again, for $5. And the best deal I found in the box, uh, I think this game usually goes for around 40 or 50 bucks. I found it for $9.97, is a copy of Halo Reach on Xbox 360. Uh, you know, I, I, I was a really big Halo fan back when it first came out on the original Xbox. Halo 1 and Halo 2 are some of my favorite games. Halo 3 uh, really did not meet my expectations. I didn't hate the game. I was just kind of lukewarm to it. I beat it, and I was just like, okay, that's it. And I let Anniversary and I let ODST f just kind of fly by. But I hear a lot of good things about Reach. And so, f and again, for nine ninety seven, you really can't pass it up. And if this is good, I might go back and pick up Anniversary and ODST just to try them out. So, uh, yeah, looking forward to getting into this. As a matter of fact, I'm going to go upstairs right after this video and play this. So... Uh, that is everything. A lot of uh, variation. Some Super Nintendo, some Sega Genesis, Wii, and Xbox 360. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys saw some games that you're interested in. I can highly recommend the Kirby Collection. I really like that game. Or the um, or the Mick and Mac Global Gladiators on Sega Genesis is a very fun game. A very big surprise. 
and like I said, I picked that up for just a couple of bucks, so it's not too expensive. Uh, yep, and that's everything, so if, so I guess I will see you guys on the next collection update.